Before we have your chief guest address, let me invite Mr. Amrit Angshu Kumar, segment head, water and wastewater, Schneider Electric India, to give his perspective on how industry can collaborate with government in terms of building sustainable, technology-driven water ecosystem. Over to you, Amrit Angshu. So, good morning, all of you. Thank you, Shovik. Uh, I'm honored to be here in the Augustan presence of Dr. G. Ashok Kumar, G. Mission Director General for Namami Gange under Jal Shakti Ministry Government of India. We have previously uh, Archana Verma, ma'am, Mission Director, National Water Mission uh, for Jal Shakti Ministry, and we have Mr. Hitesh Vedya, sir, also here. So we all were talking. Uh, thanks for your presence, sir, and sharing the thoughts, ma'am. Uh, in terms of the most sustainable and important point, which is the water conservation and water management. So here, I strongly believe that it's our responsibility to come, come together and work around in terms of uh, sustainability of the water management, uh, addressing the efficiency, addressing the thought process which is going, and water is the key fact which is going around the world. And also, not only because it is the key priority for Government of India, for the municipal organizations, for the country, but also it is one of the aspects that it is a very scarce resource. And we all are dependent, and Madam said that the next blue is the green. So that means that we are, all are dependent on something which is going to be uh, very small in the nature. So Schneider works in that direction. At Schneider, we believe in sustainability where we help our customers in terms of decarbonization, helping the environment impact, reducing the environment impact of the uh, issues which are going on in terms of the pollution, in terms of the power population. Then we also help in terms of the resource management, uh, improving the efficiency of the water systems. And we also, ma'am said that there are three R's. It is recover, recycle, and reuse. That is also one of the key aspects of sustainability which is going around. So we all work in that direction in terms of Schneider where we are. And all our solutions are designed in terms of that. So sustainability and resilience is the key aspect of the human existence. And we all are working in direction towards that. There are UN goals which are being defined and Government of India also aligned towards those UN goals of water management system, which is SDG 6. We talk of clean and uh, drinking sanitation water, which is towards the initiative of our Honorable Prime Minister, like Jal Shakti Mission and Amrut, which is talking of availability of the water to the consumer at the rural part of the country also. That is one of the key uh, flagship projects which has been taken up uh, under your guidance, sir. Uh, the another initiative which is there is SDG 9, which talks of digitization in the industry. So. We hear from our guest, Mr. Hitesh Vedya and uh, Arshana Madam, that they were talking of how to manage these data. So we have the infrastructure, we have the data, but how to manage the data. So that is something like a step towards the digitization thought process. As Schneider, uh, we also believe uh, in the sustainability. We also, all our uh, solutions, all our aspects are designed in terms of the sustainability goals. And we address the complete water cycle from water resource to the management and the circularity into it in terms of the complete thing. And circularity is the very tight aspect because nowadays we all are talking of how to use the gray water for the industrial use. So that's where the circularity comes in picture in terms of utilizing the resources which are going on, which are replenishing the complete environment and also making little unstressful of our raw water. Because if we use the raw water, the complete water cycle will be sustainable. So complete thought process is aligned, and all our solutions are aligned towards that thought process. But still, we all understand that there are still certain challenges, there are still certain gap areas which all the municipal organizations across the country are facing. Just to bring a couple of them in terms of the five bucket, what we wanted to share is, one is the access to safe water. So, we all know that we all are dependent on water. I heard Madam uh, in Bhopal where she was saying that uh, you can live without love, but you cannot live without water. So that is the something which is very important that we all know that water is so important for us. So 
availability of safe drinking sufficient quantity of water to all our consumers to all our people is one of the key goal of all the municipal organizations and also the key directive of jal shakti ministry then the capex we all understand that water is a highly infrastructure driven market with high capex investment into it and the capex versus the opex ratio is very high so whatever we design in the system is towards the operation cycle of that system because 20% roughly 20% of the overall investment goes into capex but 80% goes into operation and maintenance so roi comes in the picture that is the right quality of equipment in terms of the sustainability in terms of the efficiency how we can utilize those thought process bringing the technology into the place so that is one of the key aspect which we are talking uh, as a as a major challenge to the municipal organization another point is monitoring of the data so we all since morning we are hearing that there is a data available then but how to make that data more look and feel available in terms of the right decision making so we help our customers in terms of the wide geography and bringing them all these data together in terms of the challenges then definitely the workforce the workforce we all know that workforce is going in and out and the digital world is moving so how to uh, make our workforce more sustainable in terms of the new technologies more advancement in terms of the new technology that is another aspect of the challenge which municipal organization are facing nowadays and then the revenue comes in picture it is more towards the roi of the overall project because water is considered as a welfare game and as madam said it is it is in the inverted commas that it is highly political centric environment so how the efficiency of the investment can come into picture so the models like ham models the ppp models which namami gange has taken the initiative to bring in all those points are coming into those sustainable goals but as part of the overall thought process to make even if we know that these are the challenges we know that water is to be sustainable we need to make water sustainable but we need to skill and step up in terms of the technology because to make the complete system more sustainable it is the technology which will help in terms of the end to end visibility of the complete system and uh, the operations of it so overall thought process is towards the resource management asset management and we have seen that urban cities we have lot of wastage of water in terms of the leakages we have lot of nrw which is there in terms of our overall thought process in the municipal organization so how we can address in the holistic view of bringing all the things together in bringing all the operations together not only in terms of the uh, upgrade and development of the uh, infrastructure but also in terms of the operation and the people management i let's talk of jal jeevan mission it is one of the key initiative by government of india where we are uh, under the honorable prime minister thought process we need to provide this water to every household by 2024 it is spread it is spread in the rural part of the country and we are since we are executing couple of projects in jal jeevan mission thanks for the technology enhancement which which jal shakti ministry is working on it with us in terms of utilizing the thought process the key concern is we are putting the equipments now the next action point which we feel is the major initiative or challenge which is coming to the municipal organization how to monitor the health of that equipment how to monitor the efficiency of that equipment wherein the information is flowing because ultimately the aim is to provide the water but yes the aim is also to have the right set of equipment in place so digitization is something which we know that that is the next step which will come as part of the initiative overall in terms of the thought process now digital transformation is a journey sir it is not something that we will do it overnight and everything will change holistically so every uh, we have we have heard that everybody is talking of we work in silos we work in silos in terms of the major thought process in the country but if i talk of within the department within the municipal organization even the we work in silos because the plant people don't talk of don't talk to the uh, raw water treatment people the, they don't talk of distribution people so even within the department we have multiple silos and that's where the inefficiency comes in picture that's where the data management comes in picture that means the losses comes in picture so that means we are working on the automation front but independently for each section so we help our customers in terms of making from silos to the enterprise level and it's a journey where we help them to understand their kpis to understand their needs 
and then bringing the information in that level, which can be represented to the uh, decision maker team and to the actions and can be planned in the right manner. So this is, this is what about the digital transformation. To help the digital transformation, we are backed up by the complete solution of ecostructure, which is for the plant in terms of the control and automation, for the equipment in terms of energy, for the asset in terms of the life and the operation. And then these are spread across the different assets of the water and then bringing everything on the holistic view of the unified operation where the decision making can be done. Uh, this is supported by all the digital platform coming in from the Schneider on the electrical front, on the automation front, and then end-to-end -end connectivity from the uh, remote location to the overall thought process. So this complete story of uh, digital journey is there. As part of the technical thought process, we, this is the overall architecture which we say as our eco-structure architecture where we talk of how the asset of water is going to be integrated in terms of the digital. So basically the blue zone which you are seeing is, the, is something like WTPs, STPs, your tra transmission line, your distribution line, your uh, network management systems. And this is how it is getting integrated into the system where we talk of uh, digitization as part of the journey. Uh, so, the first layer is the connected product layer where we, where, which is interacting to the main equipment of the civil and mechanical. And, and then the next layer where the brain lies in terms of the eco-structure automation expert, which is the latest innovation of Schneider, which is on the universal platform, a brand agnostic thought process, which will work in direction of that. And then the information coming on the unified operation center where we can analyze the data where we can monitor the data and take the corrective action. So this is the overall story of the overall IT-OT integration where the IoT world is moving towards that thought process. As part of this complete uh, story, this is how the complete architecture will look like where you have the information coming from the plant, where you have the information coming from the uh, distribution network where you have the view of your asset in terms of the health of the asset and the complete dashboarding. So with the implementation, slow and gradual implementation of that thought process, we help in bringing the operational efficiency, helping increase in the operational efficiency by a certain percentage. We help in reducing the NRW of the city because NRW, if you talk in India, we talk of 30, 35, 40%, 50% NRW in any city. But when we talk the benchmarking of Singapore, of Japan, we talk of 3%, 2% NRW. So we can see, uh, we cannot go from 50% to 2% overnight. But if we take steps in that direction, that will help in terms of uh, reducing the stress on the water complete cycle. And definitely if we, if we monitor these equipment, if we monitor the health of the equipment, the overall downtime of the complete asset will get improved. The overall thought process of the availability of your equipment will improve. So in, in any case, we will be helping our customers in terms of reducing the carbon neutrality towards that. And that's the mission of Schneider where we work in direction of reducing the carbon neutrality and going net zero. And that's what the mission of Government of India where they are talking of 2070, we need to we go carbon neutral. As Schneider, we take the pledge of 2050 to go carbon neutral, and all our product, all our solutions are getting in that direction. Just to back up these thought process, we have a couple of success stories. So we are proud to be partners, sir, in, in your Jal Jeevan Mission initiative in UP, where we are addressing the seven districts of UP in terms of the tubal automation, where, where we are capturing the data at a central location and also bringing the dashboard in terms of the overall information. So this is the, I will say, a complete circularity thought process where we take the information from the remote, understand and do the analysis and take the corrective action very quickly. So this is what is the uh, next, next course of digitization which, which Madam was talking uh, a, a while before. Uh, the next is uh, the urban city where we are managing the complete Mumbai city in terms of the water management of 3300 MLD uh, water is flowing in the complete city. We are managing the complete water city in terms of the asset management, in terms of the data monitoring, the real time monitoring of the system. All that thought process is there. The network management is also as part of the overall projects and we help customer in terms of the reducing the uh, NRW and increasing the operational efficiency of the project. I will also share one of the key success story, which is a global success story. 
which is towards the industrial water use. So it's a, it's a city in England, Thailand, where we, east water, where we have the 500 kilometers of the distribution trunk line pipeline where they wanted to manage the efficiency of the complete trunk line. We helped them and, and this journey took four years for us, starting from the understanding the thought process, what they look forward, and as on today, we implemented multiple solutions. That's why we say digital transformation is a journey. I just don't need anything. We need to understand first what is the thought of the department, how we can help him, how we can help in terms of understanding the right thought process, and then step by step, slowly, slowly and gradually, we will go into that journey. So you can see that since 2015, we are engaged with this customer, and now 2022, we have the complete thought process where we help them in increasing their operational efficiency uh, by 15% and also reducing their overall uh, utilization of energy uh, by 10%. As Schneider, uh, we are a French company. We are 28.9 billion euros of the company across the globe. And we invest 5% of our revenue into R&D. And we are proud to say that India is one of the R&D center of the globe, where we do a lot of thought process sitting 2,000 people across the, uh, across the R&D center in, in one of the locations in Bangalore. And then we are spread across the economies of the globe. And you can see the Asia Pacific is a growing economy. Everybody understand that Asia Pacific is a growing economy. So we have 31% of the uh, revenue coming in terms of these economies and uh, towards the digital solutions of the industry. As part of India, uh, we are 31,000 people in India having 28 factories. And we work in direction towards making the more sustainable economic uh, thought process with the industries, with the municipal organizations, with the leadership forums like you. So at the end, I will say just a thought in terms of we help our customers with our digital thought process and smart water technologies to make water more sustainable and reliable. And also, I would like to take a pledge because we are under the Green Yodha initiative of Schneider where we work in terms of sustainability, as part of this. So I, I encourage you all to become a partner of Schneider Green Dodi Initiative and work towards the water sustainability and become the water, water ambassador for the country. Also, as part of, since we are just in, uh, in February and we are having the complete thought process towards the net zero emission of the country in terms of, and we are showcasing the complete portfolio in Alakrama, which is coming up in 2022-23 in Feb Feb February from 18 to 22nd of February in Noida. So we encourage you all and we invite you all to understand the more insights of digital transformation, how we are helping our customers in water, in different industries, in terms of making the carbon neutrality and the thought process towards the Alakrama is how to make more sustainable future. So that's all from my side. Thank you. Thank you, Bo. Anudan Shu, uh, he's a segment he head of water and wastewater sector for Schneider Electric. And uh, as he has said uh, rightly that uh, digital transformation is a journey and how Schneider is helping their customers yeah. starting from the beginning in terms of siloed management to the level of enterprise management where uh, IT and OT converges is happening and also how uh, their organization is helping uh, governments of world over in terms of uh, leveraging newest technologies to make water sector more smarter and resilient. Thank you so much, Amitang Shubh.